might have purchased the other day. If y'all watch my videos, you know in the in the spring I use a vest a lot, but a lot of times uh, later in the season, especially when I start traveling and and I start moving a lot more like rougher terrain and stuff, I want to I want to get kind of lightweight and compact. So I've been using an Avian X uh, sling pack for the past couple seasons, off and on, and and I like it. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about it. I don't have it with me today, but I found something that I think some of you have already found and, and I saw it on Facebook. So I reached out and I ordered one. So Miss Glenda Green out of North Carolina, I can't remember the city. She makes call holsters and pouches and satchels. This guy right here, it's not a man purse, it's a satchel. I'm. I'm very impressed with this thing. This is called her Minimalist Satchel, and it's in Mossy Oak Original Bottomland. This thing is super well made. I'll also say she's a pleasure to deal with. She's very friendly. She's very, very fast on putting out orders and, and processing everything and, and communicates well on Facebook. And I actually uh, took this home for Thanksgiving to my dad and, and showed him, and he ordered one of the, the larger size satchels. So. Anyways, I want to show y'all a little bit about this thing. Don't mistake it for a purse when y'all see me using it in spring next year. This thing, it, it was a little bigger than I originally thought it was based on the pictures. Like I said, this is the minimalist, so this is the smallest satchel she makes. And I think she said this is waterproof material, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's kind of scratchy right now, but I think it's going to wear in well. Everything on it is well made. It has this strap. It has a rubber rubber pad here that slides. It has your little adjustment buckle right here so you can adjust it for different lengths. It is sewn very well right here in a couple places. And same thing on the other side. On the front, it's got her little logo. She puts these little, these little straps on here so it's connected right here and there's no adjustment right here which i think some some people probably like to have that adjustment because that would allow you to put something under here but i'm not really concerned about it i think it's fine the way it is honestly i i don't like a lot of the tag ends sticking off of straps and stuff i'm i'm almost happy that it's like this so i don't have a lot of a lot of loose end hanging off it's it's very neat and very clean same thing right here it doesn't have an adjustment but I'm perfectly okay with that. That's just something to think about. Let's undo these guys. All right. Let's see if I can do this. I feel like Vanna White. It's got these. It's got these tabs here to to secure the both sides. Of where you know, I guess where the fabric meets where the zipper is. Um, that's that's sewn in really well. Right here on the front side. Once you flip the flap over, you've got a pouch here that goes to right here. It's about this long, let's say three inches. You've got a pouch here that'll fit a pot call and it's it goes down to right here. You've got a pouch that goes down to right here, starts here. This one actually has the, uh, this one actually has the loops for shotgun shells. You drop down to the bottom side, you've got two more pouches right here. So essentially, I think a pot will fit in here. Pot fits in there another pocket here pot fits in there so you've got one two three four five if you count this little one on the outside right here five pockets right here one of them holds shells three of them will hold a pot call this one will hold whatever go around to the back it has a paracord on the zipper right here it's easy to grab it's already open and it just has a big compartment right here for a whatever i mean you can put a rain jacket maps you know whatever it's this whole thing is the compartment right here so you know you can fit a lot of stuff in there i'm gonna flip it open got a nice zipper these zippers seem like really good quality so when we open it up it's just a lot of compartments in there you've got the main compartment right here which you can stick something all the way down to the bottom and then if you can imagine on each wall of this thing so this wall and this wall, you've got pouches sewn in. You open it up.
You can put a box call on either side. You can fit a different box over here. Fit a striker right there. Fit a striker right there. You could fit a saw right here. And then the rest of it is just space in the bottom. So, sorry, that's about as good as I could get that. But you could fit several box calls in here, thermocell, hand saws, pruners, anything that you take hunting, which I take most of that stuff with me. It's got a little deal right here that maybe you had ID, maybe your hunting license or something, you could hook it on a lanyard and drop it down on the bottom, but you know, you can grab it right here in case you have tried to get it out. You could put whatever you wanted on this little loop right here. That's just handy to have. She also made me, this is, this was the main reason that I looked, looked her up because I saw this box call holster. Now, I did a video a few months back. I think in May I ordered a box call from Matt Van Sice. It's a very nice box call. It's an expensive box call, so I wanted to protect it. I mean, I want to hunt with it, but at the same time, I know me, I'm going to fall on it and crack it or something. So I'm going to try to protect it. And so I wanted a holster. I wanted like a padded, soft holster, something, you know, as compact as possible, but something that gave protection. So she sent me this. Now she makes them with and without this Velcro strap right here. I got it with it just to keep it in there, but it's got a belt loop. This is the only color she had available is this original bottom, or excuse me, not original bottom. And this is the new bottom land from Mossy Oak. So undo this strap on the top, just goes right over like that. So you take this out. I didn't even think to ask her what box calls it fit, but luckily mine fits. It's a matte van size and it fits snug, but that's okay because I know it's not gonna be rattling around. And at the same time, the more I use it and take it in and out, I think it's gonna stretch just enough to where it's gonna be about perfect. So it's a little snug right now, but I can grab this, this solid handle right here and I can, Pull it right out, no problem. This thing's got like a soft padding in the middle. I know y'all can't see that, but it's, it reminds me of like certain types of couches, kind of a suede feeling material in there. So it's good and soft. Because of the shape of it, the lid has to go against this. So if you can see this, I mean, you see the shape of the box call and you see the shape of this. So it has to go like this. You can slide it right on in once you get it started. So it's, it's not that bad, but you put this little guy on there and it don't, it ain't, I mean, I don't have anything between the lid and the box and it's not squeaking at all. You can barely hear it, but that's minimal. So anyway, she makes a, a really good box call holster. I think she makes a couple sizes of these. I'm very pleased with this. She also sent me this pot call, pot call holster, which I didn't even order, so she sent it as a gift, so don't expect that if you order it, but if she sends it, that's very sweet of her. She didn't have to do that. But this is really soft leather. It's got some nice little turkey tracks on it. It's got this little button right here, and this little, it's just a little elast elastic piece or whatever, but it's got a place for a striker. And then you open it up, and it's just, it's just soft leather. You can fit a pot call in there. You could probably fit different stuff in there if you wanted to. So that's, that's just nice to, to keep a call protected or whatever. But like I said, she sent that for free. Don't expect it. She don't have to do that, but that was very nice of her. So she also sent me a note with it, and I don't have it with me. I thought I did, but it's a very sweet note, but it had her, had her information on there, had her email address. and So I found her on Facebook. I had seen some guys talking about her on, on the uh, old Gobbler forum and, and different places. She makes them all by hand and there's no telling how long it takes her to make each one of these things. So it's, it's very impressive. I will put all of her information in the description of this video. So if you want to get in touch with her, you can, you can, you know, order whatever you want. She has several more things available. She's got different call holsters. She's got, she's got some striker uh, roll up things. So you put all your strikers in there and then you can roll it up kind of like those tool kits. That's nice. I just don't use a lot of pot calls. I don't use a lot of strikers. So um, the box call holster was, was what I wanted because I used the box more than anything. I'm highly impressed with this. I, I thought I liked it based on the pictures and what I saw. Once I got it, it's even better than I expected. It's very well made, so I look forward to using it this spring. The reason I use one of these versus a vest is because when I start walking a long ways, I tend to carry too much crap. If I've got all that space in my vest, I'm going to fill it up with something. 
That's just how I am. I know some of y'all are the same, but when I carry something like this, it makes me get things compact. It makes me slim down. So therefore I'm saving weight. It's not as bulky as a vest going through the woods. If I need to slip it off and go crawl up to a log and try to shoot a turkey or whatever, all I gotta do is take the strap off, lay it down, and I'm taking off. So I like it for a lot of different reasons. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be nice this spring. You know, based on what I just told you, the only thing I'm thinking is it may not have quite enough room. So that's part of my problem though. So I'll make it work. Y'all go pay her a visit and see what she's got. She's got some good stuff, so. Thank you, Miss Miss Glenda Green. I appreciate it. My dad appreciates it. I'll probably be ordering some stuff in the future. So thank you all for watching.